So in this drag review question, we're looking at a circular leaf, a small mass, 8 grams, falling at terminal speed through air. We're given the drag coefficient to be 0.5 and the density of air to be 1.2 kgs per meter cubed. And if the leaf has a terminal speed of 5.8 meters per second, what is the diameter of the leaf? So assume the Reynolds number is high, so we're using high Reynolds number drag. So in this question, again, if it's falling at its uh, terminal speed, I know that the magnitude of the drag force is equal to the magnitude of the weight force, so there's no net force on the leaf when it's falling at its terminal, constant terminal speed. So we can write the drag force as one half CD, so the drag coefficient, the density of the air, times the cross-sectional area of the leaf, times its uh, terminal speed squared is equal to the uh, weight, which is m times g, and here we're trying to solve for the diameter of the leaf, and it's a circular leaf. So here I want to think about the area. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, and that's equivalent to pi times d over two all to be squared, which leaves us with pi over four d squared. So then I can substitute that pi over 4 d squared into this equation and then try to isolate d. So I have 1 half of c d rho pi over 4 d squared v t squared equals m g. So the 1 half and the sort of quarter here will become 1 eighth. So basically I'm going to try to again isolate d. So there's going to be a square root here. So the 2 times 4 will give us 8. So then multiply both sides by 8. So we would have 8 mg's on the top. And then I'm going to divide across by cd, divide across by rho, and divide across by pi, and then divide across by vt squared. I think that should leave us with um, exactly what we need for to solve for D. So we have given the mass of the uh, leaf, and you have to convert that to kgs, so 0 0.008 kgs. G is a constant, CD is given, rho is given in the correct units, pi is a constant, and you're given the terminal speed in the correct SI unit. So the only thing you need to make a note of is that M is 0 0.008 kgs. It's the only unit conversion that you need. Everything else is in SI units. So if you put this into your calculator, I believe you'll get 0.1 meters, which of course is 10 centimeters. So that's a pretty big leaf. But that's what the question uh, states. So uh, D is the correct answer.